Hello again, YouTube. Today, I've got myself this calculator that uh, was not working for me, and I wanted to uh, go through all the steps, just in case anyone else is having this problem, uh, to try to figure out what's going on. So when I did a little bit of research, uh, the TI there's a TI-83 and TI-84, and they have different editions. So it'll tell you right up top. This one is the silver edition for the TI-84, uh, there's plus and for the 83 there's also different editions they have the plus and there's also a CE edition so I'll make sure I go over that so first things first um, like the title says this is for your screen not turning on no matter how many times you press on it's not going to turn on so the first thing you want to do is if you have the attachments up here that's the first thing you want to do is plug it in to see if it works uh, you can either use the power outlet or the USB you can plug it into a computer and uh, they say wait 10 minutes and try to turn it on um, but obviously I don't have that it's just this so if that doesn't work the next step is uh, the reset button on this is just for the CE model for the CE model there should be a reset button somewhere on the back I'm uh, sorry I can't show you but I don't have one um, but if you do hit the reset button if it still doesn't work you need to hold down the second the blue button up here and delete so press down both of those and then on the back hold down the reset button and it should turn on that's only for the CE models. If that doesn't work, then this is for both models. Um, try replacing the batteries, obviously. And uh, that's probably your first go-to. If that did not work, then replace the batteries and with new ones and hold down on for 30 seconds. There's been some success with that. Now, if that doesn't work, it could be your contrast. That's probably your second option. So hit the on button, and then you'll hit second and up, and then just go back and forth, second up, second up, and try to turn the contrast up so it becomes darker. If you do that a whole bunch of times and still nothing turns on, then you know that your calculator's not turning on. So this is just for the TI-84 um, as far as I know, it could work for the TI-83, but I don't have one to test it out on. So if all of that fails, then hit the clear button, hold it down, and replace one of the batteries. So just you don't need, you don't need to replace it with a new one if you already have new ones in there. Just hold down clear and pop the back off. And while you're holding it down, take a battery out and put it back in. And that resets the RAM if the if your RAM is having issue. And if it's a software issue, you do the same thing, but instead of clear, you hold down delete. So hold down delete, pop one out, pop back in, and see if it turns on. Now, if absolutely none of that works, which none of that worked for me, which is a long process, you're going to have to take it apart. So we go here on the back. And you actually don't need special tools for this. My wife actually took this apart with just a small flathead. One of the little jewelry kinds. But all it is is a small flathead. If you actually look inside the little holes, they're, um, I think they're star bits. I don't know. It's pretty hard to see this. Can't zoom. But there's four. There's two up here two in the middle, and two down here on the bottom. Um, this one works for all of them. You're going to take out each one of these, and you're also going to take this one out. And if you hadn't already replaced this battery in here, that's another thing that you can use. This, this battery in here is uh, one of those small flat batteries, I'll show you in just a second, for the backup. Now, if all of those have been replaced and this one's been replaced, 
then this is definitely your last step. So let me take all of these out and show you. And this will look at what the screws actually look like. They're those little tiny star bits. So that's what those look like. But I just took out all the little tiny screws, all six of them, and then I loosened this one up where your little replacement battery is. So it's that little guy in there. Let me show you exactly what size it is. These are little uh, 44 batteries. It says on the back, uh, like SR44 something 44. But these little batteries, um, mine was dead. I just used the one that went in my laser pointer because apparently that they use the same thing. So that's the little one that goes in here. But I'm going to take that out. And I'm also going to take out all the batteries before I do this. So I don't get shocked in it, or reduce the chance of getting shocked. So once I take out all of these, these are all brand new batteries, so I know that these work. And once you take that out, then all along here on this edge, just start prying it apart and make sure you take that middle one out and it'll start to come apart. So let me pop that open. Now that's what it looks like when it's opened. And prying this thing apart is really not that hard. Just do it one tab at a time. There's nothing that you can break unless you bend it too far, like, like that, and then it snaps in half. But um, uh, no breakable tabs in here, so just pop one at a time. Take your time. You'll get it eventually. But um, this is what it looks like on the inside. And so... That's where the batteries go, and the batteries have two leads, positive and negative. So by looking at these, you can see on the opposite side, I've already soldered mine, so ignore that. They look the same, I swear. They have gold leads in which they touch. Now this is what a normal one will look like. I cleaned it up a little bit, so it should look like that. And if yours looks like they have a corroded spot or a worn down or a black spot or something like that, then you have to put some solder on there so the connections can actually make contact. Because after a while, uh, moving around and vibrations and whatnot, these leads right here are going to wear down on where they touch on here. So this one was totally fine. All I did was clean it up. This one just got a, a drop or two of solder and spread it around so that it completes the contact. And also while you're in here, make sure you bend these up slightly. So just put your finger in there, bend it upwards on both sides, just in case they're not coming up far enough. So bend them up a little bit, and once you're done soldering that, then you can put this whole thing back together, which is the same as before, or the reverse. Pop that on, pop it together, put the screws in, put all the batteries back in, the middle screw, and then we get to see if it works. Now that everything is back together, I can put the cover back on. And now that everything is back together, except for my little faceplate here, now that everything is back together, this should be able to turn on once I hit the on button. There it is. Obviously, everything was cleared because everything was taken apart. So, just to warn you guys, your RAM and whatnot is all going to be wiped if this happens to you. So, um, if you need to keep all your stuff, the best thing to do is... If you have it, that's good. If not, and you want to keep your stuff, you're going to have to buy the USB and transfer it to another calculator. It might work for the computer, I'm not sure, but that's the only way to save your stuff. But um, if for some reason this doesn't work for you, then and you've, if you've gone over everything that I've gone over, which is all the possible ways to reset it or fix anything, most likely it's going to be your motherboard and this thing is completely crapped out. So I hope 
I solved any problems relating to the screen not turning on. Have fun. Math.